Hi, we are continuing to study why operations management is important and what it is. And the third topic is important pillars of operations management. So, so far we have learned the essence of operations management. That is, operations management is the set of activities that transforms inputs into output in the form of products and services. And we learned that operations management is a process, transformative process. And we also learned that value is important. How much value do we create uh, to the suppliers, to the customers, employees, and distributors? What do we do about that? That's a very important part of operations management. And depending on policies and philosophies, the measure of success or productivity can differ greatly. The second part that we thought about was the criticality of operations management. We learned the coin, cost, saving, organizational employment, innovation, and national chain effects. Those are the reasons why operations management is so critical in business. The third agenda uh, that we have in this lecture is the pillars of operations management. There are four pillars of operations management, and in this course, I hope you remember these four pillars of operations management after taking this course. So, the pillars of operations management are QPIC. So, these are the acronym again, QPIC, QPIC is the main areas of operations management. Q stands for quality. Quality is a very important part of operations management. And the second uh, thing, P stands for process. What kind of process do we use to produce? How do we arrange process? This is another important area of operations management. Inventory is another important part of operations management. Inventory can take up up to 70% of uh, a business capital. And we have to be careful of managing this inventory. And C stands for capacity. How much do we want to produce? How many products do we want to have it on hand? Uh, that's the um, topic of capacity, and we need to determine that too. And all these decisions in Cupic, quality, process, inventory, and capacity are determined by strategy. If you are using cost-driven strategy like Walmart, you might ignore quality to a certain degree and try to produce and uh, procure products and raw materials as cheap as possible. However, if you are um, uh, pursuing quality strategy, then you might uh, ensure that you get high quality raw materials and also in the course of manufacturing and sourcing them, you will you know, make much effort to ensure the quality of the products. So depending on strategy, your quality process, inventory and capacity decisions will be determined. And these uh, decisions will be also closely tied to forecasting. How do you see your future will help you to determine the levels of quality and what kind of process you are going to be using and how much inventory you will carry and how much capacity you are going to maintain. For example, in terms of inventory, if you see that the future is tough and very uncertain and political instability are too high in other countries like China or Africa, then you might want to maintain high level of inventory. However, if you see that uh, uh, the world is quite stable and you are able to find more uh, products and services easily or alternative sources for the products or services, then you might want to maintain low inventory because that's more uh, helpful to, to uh, have healthy balance sheet. So, Forecasting will be tied to your decisions for quality, 
process, inventory, and capacities. So we can say that quality and forecasting are closely tied together because depending on you are forecasting on customer's desire for high quality or low quality, you will have different results. A good example is Apple, right? Apple saw that uh, computer is not just a commodity, but people really desire to have luxurious and high quality computer and uh, cell phone. And that's why they went for this high profitable margin, high end mar mar uh, market segment, and they succeeded in that area so much. And in terms of a process, uh, you want to tell that if you want to go for you know large mass production then you want to make it like automation or assembly line however if you think that uh, uh, customers want to have all the uh, products customized to their taste then you want to go for you want to go for batch process because that maximizes your um, customization capability what about inventory? I talked about inventory depending on the uncertainty that you see in the future you will either maintain high inventory or low level of inventory and the same goes to capacity if you see that your products will be very popular in the future then you want to increase your capacity I like uh, the example of Amazon who put a lot of uh, warehouses throughout each uh, uh, states, right? And New Jersey has several warehouses, Pennsylvania and as well. So they chose strategic locations and increased the capacity for warehouses so that they can quickly uh, get to their customers in, in, in a few days, right? You know, one day prime, two day, three day deliveries, they made it happen. That's why they are uh, seriously competing against Walmart and actually overpowering them these days. So, um, pillars of operations management are QPIC, quality, process, inventory, and capacity. And as operations manager or any business people have to make decisions on these four areas, guided by the strategy and also forecasting. So, if we wrap up um, lecture one, chapter one, introduction to operations management, we uh, talked about three things, the essence of operations management. It's a value creation through transformation of the inputs into goods and services. And we can call operations management as a transformative process. And depending on your practices, uh, you can achieve high quality operations management. Uh, the second topic that we talked about was the criticality of operations management. And that depends on coin, cost saving, organizational employment, in, uh, you know, innovation, and national chain effects. And lastly, we just talked about the pillars of operations management. So QPIC, quality, process, inventory, and capacity decisions have to be made by the strategy and forecasting. Those are the things that we discussed in this lecture. Um, and thank you for watching this video, and uh, I hope this video really helped you to understand uh, the general um, picture of operations management. Thank you.